A recent survey released by the Office for National Statistics revealed that alcohol-related death in Wales has increased by half since the year 2000, and the number of death in men and women combined has nearly doubled in Wales. It was reported that there were 306 alcohol-related deaths among men in the country in 2013 compared to only 209 in 2000. A staggering figure reveals that there are more than 8,000 deaths recorded in the UK caused by extreme drinking habits, and 66 of it were among males. With such an alarming number, curbing this problem is crucial, and counselling is said to be one of the best methods to control the problem. And social lives and psychological difficulties, and often people turn to alcohol as a means of coping with emotional trauma and stress. So counselling can help people deal with all the underlying issues that, are, that might be impacting their drinking. Many alcohol-dependent individuals say that counselling can help people deal with the recovering process. Cardiff Alcohol and Drug Team is a service that provides help to individuals suffering from alcohol or substance abuse in Cardiff. Unfortunately, due to the council's budget cut, this service is deemed towards closure. People are dependent on it. It is a life and death situation for people in, in, in recovery. That this counselling for some people is essential to their recovery. Last week, many have gathered in front of Cardiff County Hall to protest this move by sending a petition to the councillor requesting them to reconsider their decision. A combination of 6,000 handwritten and online signatures were handed in to the councillor. I've been using the service for eight years and uh, if it weren't for my meetings with my councillor, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably be dead. You're going to have a bad, you're, you're, they're actually leaving people hanging. So I mean, people will die from this yeah. because they haven't, got, they haven't got the service there. Cardiff Council will discuss about the service closure this Thursday and the final decision will be made on February 26th.